Thanks guys. Bird Library is a seven story building that is the hub of academic life here in Syracuse. Now it was built back in September of 1972. This was the first open meeting to discuss the Micron project and many local residents attended. People were standing because it was so crowded. This model train fair is the largest model train fair in all of New York State and I think by the amount of people you can see here it's definitely living up to its expectations. Bradley, this time cases of monkeypox are on the rise and the Onondaga County Health Department is planning a second monkeypox vaccination clinic. Last night, students attended the Community Forum in Life Sciences. Well, thanks guys. Let me just say one thing. If you have not yet been outside today, you need to get out here. Yeah, of course, and you're a member of the Native Student Program. So what is it like to have this community, especially during the month of November? In just about 20 minutes, the Orange will be taking on Boston College. Gus right here also designed some of the equipment right here behind me. So Gus, tell me a little bit about the process that went into designing this. I'm sure if you've been outside today and you've seen the weather, it's been a lot more cold and a lot more rainy than it normally has been. Now today is the first day of fall, so we are going to be seeing those colder temperatures, but I'll see you guys back in studio. Let's Let's try this out. The VCT 2022 Game Changers Championship, which took place just last week, was the most viewed female Valorant tournament ever. But there's another world competition going on that Walker and Carson have all of the details about. Guys, Josh and Walker, good morning. Now, while the Erie Canal Museum might just seem like an ordinary museum showcasing the impact and history of the Erie Canal, Pumper inside there's something more. Earlier this week, I spoke with the Director of Pumper Public School Programs down. and Education at the museum about their annual gingerbread gallery. Trees, lights, and wreaths, all things that scream the holiday season. But what else screams the holiday season? Gingerbread houses. Made using a variety of edible components, gingerbread houses became a tradition when the main characters in Hansel and Gretel found a house made of treats in the woods. The houses are extremely popular and are made by people everywhere. However, gingerbread houses in central New York have now found a home in Syracuse at the Erie Canal Museum. This whole little kind of village gets built in about the course of two weeks. Uh, it's all hands on deck for that. And it starts at the beginning of November, we open uh, our grand opening is always Black Friday. The gingerbread gallery has been a tradition at the museum for 37 years. All gingerbread houses are made by local community members and it is free to enter. Unless you want to partake in the confectioner's challenge, uh, you pay us $25 and you're entered to win. Uh, we get local kind of celebrities to judge the gingerbread houses. And if you come in first place, I believe it's a $250 prize. Now, here at the Erie Canal Museum, you'll find gingerbread houses all around you. You'll see a new design that might just be your favorite. Uh, the kids are always have kind of fun reactions. Uh, they'll, they'll sometimes get their mind blown by uh, various ones. We've got Shrek over there who's a, a favorite of kids this year because they walk right into the gingerbread gallery. Everyone knows Shrek. Now, if Shrek isn't your cup of tea, you can find the Drawbridge on Erie, Seneca Falls, New York, Santa's Workshop, and even Mount Ginger. Applications to submit a gingerbread house are pretty simple. Your house must be edible and creative. Take it from Derek. He built a gingerbread house his first year here, but said he'll never do it again. A lot of work, way more than I was expecting. Uh, but it was, it was good fun. This gingerbread gallery is a great holiday activity for anyone to enjoy, and it is open until early January. to submit an application for the exhibit this year you always have until next year and the exhibit is open until January 8th for you to come inside and take a look. The museum is open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and they're always giving tours. You can check the website for more information. Reporting live outside of the Erie Canal Museum, Ilana Epstein for Juice and Java. Guys? Located on the corner of Walton Street and Franklin Street lies a restaurant with good food, drinks, and social atmosphere. Since 2019, Margarita's Mexican Cantina has been open to the public. What was the perfect place to come for food with your friends will soon become more than just a restaurant. Restaurant owner Alejandro Gonzalez says he realized he needed to expand the space last year. We realized that we had a, a very big wait times, so we decided to just 
get more seating, get an extra bar. The restaurant will be expanding to the open space next door and will be nearly doubling their seating. The restaurant will feature multiple bars, all new furniture and decor, special performances, a later curfew and some dancing with a nightlife scene. Marketing and entertainment coordinator Sebastian Ramirez explained to me that Margarita's offers something that other restaurants it's don't. It's really more of a, I guess, I don't want to say vibe, but a vibe, and it's just a fun environment to be in rather than just sit down. Construction began a little over a year ago after the restaurant received permits from the city. While it's exciting to see the renovations come together, sometimes Very it's... Very annoying, <laughs> to say the least, um, just because like right now we're... <laughs> construction right behind me in about two hours they're gonna have to stop doing construction we have to move all the furniture all the construction clean up because we're gonna need this side for seating although the renovations have been long waitress lena gonzalez can't wait for the new addition she loves seeing new customers dance to see everybody moving their heads even if they don't understand the songs it's just like vibing with that one thing that comes with these new renovations a lot of fame comes with owning a restaurant or a club or a bar stuff like that uh, also a lot of stress, but you know, I, I enjoy what I do. The staff at Margaritas are excited for new customers and a fun new space with shorter wait times. Alejandro revealed that construction is set to finish by the end of October, and they are hoping to have an event by Halloween. They also plan to renovate the original side of the restaurant after finishing construction on the new side. It's November, and the time to vote is now. This year, the polls are crowded and many people are voting in the midterm elections. People are casting their votes for a variety yeah. of reasons. Tyrone Sims, a local Syracuse resident, says... It's my right. It's the right that I treasure. It's the right that I want to have every uh, extended family member of mine from here on out. While many people waited until today to cast their votes, some people went and voted early last week, as they believed it was more convenient. Dylan Proust shared why he went to the polls early. I didn't know if I was going to be free on election day, and so um, I, it was really convenient. It didn't take that much time, so I just wanted to come down and vote. Dylan Proust, who is a medical student in Syracuse, just moved to America and sees voting as a great opportunity that everyone should take advantage of. Um, I think you know, voting is definitely uh, a civic duty and it's, it's a privilege. Um, it's an honor that I think especially people in other countries might not, uh, might not have. Many people, including Billy Buchanan, see voting as an opportunity to make change and fight for what they care about. Uh, well, I think there's a lot of issues that are hot button items and people need to get out and vote. Just, I just think it's, you know, it's the American right to vote and I think everybody should use it. Tyrone says he wants to make a change for his community and says the more people that go out and vote, the better. The issues are uh, phenomenal. It couldn't be more polarized and uh, it's scary. While many people voted early, even more people are voting today. Now, nearly every voter I spoke with stressed the civic importance of casting their ballots. One told me the right to vote is one that many Americans die for. Tegan and Chile, back to you guys.